So now let's see how we can work with selection tool and crop tool inside of Snagit. So over here you can see that I already have a screenshot and what I can do is I can go on to selection tool right here. If you don't see selection here, simply go to more and you'll see all of the tools that you want to access. So let's just go around over here onto selection and now over here I'm just going to select rectangle. So if I were to go over here, the rectangle shape has been selected. So I can click and drag to move around, rotate it around and then even resize it out and keep it anywhere I want. So you see that there's a sort of a style going on right here. You can also do a selection and hit delete key to delete that part out of the image just like that. You can go for a circular selection just like this or you can go around over here, hold shift while you're dragging out so that it is a perfect circle just like this. You can go on to a polygonal selection as well. Just click around right over here and what happens is that there's the selection in the polygonal shape just like that. And then you have the freehand selection where you just draw, draw around over here and hit delete just like that as you can see right there. And these are the different type of selections that you can do. You notice uh, that when I delete it out, everything becomes, tra tra becomes transparent. So if I were to delete this, you can see that it becomes transparent. But I can also go for an auto fill. That is like if I were to go over here and delete this out, let's say for example, and hit delete key, you can see that it fills it out automatically with speed. You can also go for photo quality right here. So it is more uh, preserving quality just like that. So you can go over here, let's say for example, I want to delete this part out, simply select, delete, and it tries to accommodate for whatever is being missed out right over there. So let me just delete this part out right here, delete, and you can see that it tries to do a good job of removing that part out just like that. So that's one way of working with the selection tool. Another way you can work with selection tool is to snap to object right here. So now if I were to select this out rectangular option and click around over here just like this, let's see what happens. It selects out the individual portion right here so that you can move them around just like that as you can see right there. Now over here I can increase and decrease uh, the selection range. Let's say for example, if I were to increase that out, you can see that it selects out individual, uh, it does not select out individual components, but it is still the same. If I were to decrease it out just like that, the snapping selection is very, very tight right here. So you can see that it, it tries to get very, very specific onto even these buttons right over here. And sometimes it's not enabled to snap to the objects right here. So it can only snap to the objects which are really, really small. So I'm just going to increase out the selection range right here and let's just work around with it right over here. And more selection uh, ranges are done as you can see right here. You can replace it out and so forth. So if I were to increase this out even more just like that, let's just increase. You can go around, select this out and everything is selected as you can see. The pops are here and you can see that it's even transparent. So you can uh, rotate this out, you can scale it out and change out the screenshot in the way you want, just like that. And that is how you can work around with the selection tool, just like that. Another tool in order to crop out is the crop tool. So for that, you can go on to more right here and then go to crop. So once you go to crop, you have these handles right here, which you can just pull out to crop out different sections. So of course, this is something that we saw in the previous lesson as well, where you crop out uh, just like that. So you, you go get the handles just like this and crop out. But over here, if you have the crop tool itself, you can do something as well. So you can just go to the crop and then click and drag an area and then that can be cropped out as well, just like this. Let's say, for example, you want to crop out this area right here, this, this part, this, this logo part right here. Let's select that out and hit crop. And what happens is that only that uh, area has been cropped out, just like that. And that is how you can use the selection tool and the crop tool inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe. <laughs>